What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay. Uh, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! This name scares me a little bit. We have The Dictators. Yes, indeed. How about that? The Dictators making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video is done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Peter DeWolf. And Peter wanted to see me react to this song by the dictators called Burn Baby Burn. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, oh, I don't believe this. I've heard this before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by The Dictator's Topic, okay? And the video has 2,252 views. Eh, not going to get you there. Sorry. Look, I, I'm sure the song is fine. I'm sure the video is fine. I'm just saying 2,252 views. No, it, that's not going to get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, burn, baby, burn. That's all I got. Uh, I, I'm assuming this is... The album cover, album artwork, I'm hoping. Guess we'll find out. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I was about to say, that sounds like the perfect place for a guitar solo. Um, even without the clues that it, it seems like they're from New York, even without all these visual cues, I, I can hear the New York rock influence. I can absolutely hear it. Um, that slick, like, like ball bearing grease slicked out, but still grimy and grungy and dirty style of rock. Yeah, I, I absolutely get that feel from this. Um, it's not complex. It's not mind blowing. It's not gonna get any awards for 
you know, writing or, or, or for composition or for, uh, you know, technicality or anything like that. All this is, is just a straight ahead, fun rock tune. That's all it is. And if you're, if you're going into this looking for more than that, you're going to be very disappointed. Um, I, I came into this with a very open mind. No, uh, no premonitions, no expectations, no bar set anywhere. Just let's see what these guys are all about. And it doesn't sound like they take themselves too seriously. It, it sounds like they're, they're just having fun with this. And look, with a band like this, in all honesty, that's probably the best approach you could have. Um, don't take yourself too seriously. Just enjoy the ride and have fun with it. And you will build a fan base. I promise you. If you take a, if you take a band like this with a sound like this and they're going to be all you know, pretentious and full of themselves. And, you know, we're, we're here to play in your town and you need to come and worship us, you know, cause you should be honored to have us play in your town. If they're going to be like that, they're going to have a very hard time getting fans, very hard time. Um, but I get the feeling these guys don't take themselves very seriously. So, um, it's fun. It's good. I would not say mind blowing, but it's it's good. It is definitely good. All right, guitar solo time. Let's hear what they got. go on a limb here I, I don't know if this is right or not and I, I i could be wrong but my gut is telling me we are two different guitar solos from two different guitar players the first guitar solo was not as clean as that guitar solo was that that second guitar solo much more precise a lot cleaner technique was a lot tighter uh, the first guitar solo sounded dirtier looser um i i, I just I get the feeling those were two completely different guitar players. Now, I could be wrong, and there, there could be just the one guy playing both solos just with two completely varying and different styles. And it's it's possible. It's absolutely possible. But my gut is telling me that was two different guitar players. Anyway, let's keep going here. Let's finish this out, and we'll get to the review. Burn. 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 I said burn, I said burn, 
repeat, 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 end. Yeah. Yeah. Typical. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, I have, okay. I have an idea, but. I'm not sure about the specifics. Uh, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was The Dictators with Burn Baby Burn. This was a request from Peter DeWolf. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <clears throat> I have been reacting to some pretty weird things lately. And uh, yeah, th th this definitely goes in that folder. Um, it wasn't bad. I mean, it, it, here's the thing. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but, but it wasn't bad. Um, got a score here and the thing is the score really came down to one thing. But the one thing is really all that's, to be perfectly honest with you, the one thing is really all that's needed. On a scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> I'm going to give that a 7.1. Yep, 7.1. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? For those of you who are expecting this to be up in the nines, Man, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I have no idea what to tell you. For those of you who were even thinking this was gonna be up in the eights, again, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, uh I, 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 I'm sorry, <laughs> but there was no way, no way that this song was gonna be up in the in the eights or nines. It just was not gonna happen. Now here's the thing, though. Was it technical? No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. But it was fun, it was fun. Was it particularly well written? No, no, it wasn't well written, but it was written correctly. I mean, it, I didn't hear anything that stood out as being eh or ah or oh God, it, no, no, everything sounded good. Was there anything in this song that impressed me? No. No, no, no nothing impressive. Not Okay, well baby, okay, the, the second guitar solo. It was it was nice. It, it, it was clean. I, I will I will say that it it, it stood apart. It, and the thing is, that second guitar solo stood apart from the song. Like it I know this is going to sound weird. That solo did not sound like it belonged to there. <laughs> this because the rest of the song was a, a lot a lot dirtier and a lot simpler than that guitar solo was. It was like, imagine taking Kiss, right? You, you take Kiss and you put Steve Vai in there. You put Steve Vai in the Space Ace makeup. I don't think it's gonna work out all that well. <laughs> I could never imagine that in a million years. That that thought is absolutely terrifying to me. Um, But it, it wasn't anything impressive, but it was well done and here's here's the big factor did they do anything wrong no so we're not going down under five there's no way you know it was solid it had a good groove it was catchy and the most important thing and this is this is what this is something that sometimes I even myself lose track of. And and I and shame on me. Shame on me. When this does when I do lose track of this simple fact, it, it, it shame on me, absolutely. It was fun. It was a fun tune. It was a fun song. This, that's all this song is meant to be. I don't think these guys take themselves very seriously. And and if they do, I don't know why, because if they're writing songs like this, they have nothing to be serious about, other than the dedication they have to putting out this product. You know, they should be serious about that. Every band should be serious about that. Putting out the best product possible. 
But uh, if, if they're out there thinking that they're songwriters of the year, I, I have some very bad news for them. No, they're not. But uh, it is a fun tune. I, 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 I think I kind of get the vibe from this band. Um, I kind of got like Shades of the Ramones from these guys a little bit. A little bit. Not not, not completely. I'm not, I'm not saying they sounded like the Ramones, but I was definitely getting some Ramones vibes from them a little bit. Uh, but it, it sounded good. It was fun. Good energy. Good drive. Felt good. And like I said, it was entertaining. So... 7.1, it's a really good score. It's at the bottom of the really goods, but I, I, I actually, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I tried giving it down in the sixes. I, I, I went to 6.9 even, and it just didn't feel right to me. It didn't feel right giving it a 6.9. So I'm sticking with that 7.1. You're free to disagree with me if you want, but I mean, I, I had a good time listening to it. It was fun. Not great, not mind-blowing, not amazing, but... Yeah, I'll give him the really good sure white. So, 7.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.